Hello, welcome, bienvenidos. My name is Dr. Brenda Juarez Harris. My preferred names are Brenda, Dr. Harris, or just Doc is fine as well. My preferred pronouns are she, her, hers, ella. I'm making this little introduction discussion name story video for you and you'll have your chance to make yours as well so we can get to know each other as part of a learning community. So as you make yours, I'd like you also to please provide your preferred name or names, your preferred pronouns, those are very important as well. And then tell us a little bit about um, you. Where are you from? Uh, and um, maybe what is your major, if you feel comfortable sharing that. And then most importantly, uh, what is your name story? Okay, so I'll share mine and then I look forward to getting to know you and watching your videos as well. So I told you my names and my preferred pronouns and um, I am originally from Upper Michigan. I'm what you call a youper. I was born up by the Canadian border in Upper Michigan, but I grew up as a cheesehead in Green Bay, Wisconsin. And then I lived for a long time in Utah and went to school and taught public school and private school in Salt Lake City. And um, since then, I have lived in um, the American Deep South in Mobile, Alabama, where I currently live. I've also lived in New England. I worked and taught at um, the University of Massachusetts Amherst in the social justice education program. So um, my uh, name story is actually um, entails my mom. Uh, she's the one who chose my name. Uh, my mom was a young mother. She was only 16 when she had me. me. And um, I'm her firstborn. And she named me Brenda after a character on a soap opera that she loved to watch um, every day. She would hurry home from whatever she was doing to watch the soap opera. And her favorite character was a character named Brenda. So I was named after that character. And my middle name is Gail, which is the name that um, I was given because it was my grandfather's name, my paternal grandfather's name. So that's how I got my name. Okay, so um, my uh, preferred names, Dr. Brenda Harris. Um, I don't mind being called Doc or just Brenda. I'm from the South. I'm from Mobile, Alabama. So down here, we um, often say things like, yes, ma'am, no, sir. Um, people often call me Miss Brenda or, um, or just ma'am. So if I say that to you, if I say um, Mr. Corey or Miss Samantha, please don't be offended. It's just because I've been living in the South for a long time. And we do that sometimes. Um, so in Mobile, Alabama, just in case you didn't know, that is the place where Mardi Gras actually started. Most people think that it's in uh, New Orleans, but it is not. The same two brothers who um, started, who founded uh, New Orleans, they actually founded Mobile first in 1702. So our city is very old. And so I have, um, Mardi Gras is actually starting soon. And, um, and of course the beads are, um, everybody knows about the beads for Mardi Gras. So, um, I will be physically in Cedar City, Utah, uh, this summer. Uh, I was just hired to, um, start working at Southern Utah University and I'm super excited about that and I'm super excited to get to know each of you and to be part of this learning community and I ask for your patience with me as um, I get to know our new university and make this shift over. I have taught um, courses like uh, this one 
at the University of South Alabama. Um, I've also taught at Brigham Young University in, in Provo, Utah. And I've taught at um, the University of Massachusetts in Amherst. So um, I do have experience uh, teaching these courses. Um, however, Southern Utah University is brand new to me and I look forward to learning with you and from you and I'm so happy to be here. So I look forward to your name stories as well. Okay, thank you.